Hello everyone, myself Neeraj Singh, a member of Akshar Shala Kritash. Today I am going to present adverbs, which is an important part of sentence. Let's move. What actually are adverbs? Adverbs are describing words, right? They give us more information about the word. They are used to change, modify, or qualify several types of words, right? They tell us how, when, where. at what extent and uh, the work has been done right for example there are several adverbs that you use in daily life that is daily quickly now where come the regularly etc for example i completed my assignment quickly there are two words main that is one is completed and one is quickly completed is the work that you are performing and quickly is at what extent or how you, the work is going to be completed therefore the action word that is here verb is completed and the adverb is quickly the quickly gives more information about your verb that is action, uh, completed so completed action word and quickly word the uh, next let's move to second example sahu sees many puppies outside sahu sees where outside outside describe describes describes where sahu sees okay outside where the action happens she sees is the verb now my dad came home early here came is verb and early is adverb that is hence uh, i would like to brief some notes regarding adverbs and adverbs never describes a noun or pronoun adjective describes noun or pronoun for example i ate a heavy meal right here heavy describes the meal here the meal is actually not a verb right so here heavy is used as adjective not ad not ad. now let me tell you how to form adverbs from adjectives generally in most of the cases we add ly to the end of an end adjective for example elegant is an adjective if we add ly at the last it becomes adverb she dresses elegantly how does she dresses elegantly also kind to kindly the boy kindly carried the old lady's bag strange adding ly it becomes strangely it was strangely quiet in the village uh now it's your turn to uh, make some sentences using adverbs uh, that is safely happily slowly slightly late and today it's an assignment for you. so friends uh, let's get familiar with some spelling rules the first rule is that if you found words like true do whole that is they if they contain e in the last simply remove e and add ly it becomes adverb true to truly secondly if the end contains y just remove y and use ily it becomes a uh, an adjective adverb then sorry happy to happily now when an adjective ends with a constant le right simply remove le and use uh, and add ly for example sensible becomes sensibly by just remove le and adding ly here uh, the fantastic contains ic in the last just remove ic and add a double l y l e it becomes a uh, fantastically which is an adverb also if the word ends double l simply add y don't remove anything for example full to fully but it doesn't happen in final the word final in final words we have single l simply we add l y it becomes finally okay there is an exception for public it ends with ic but it does become, become publicly c a double l y we add here l y so keep in mind now uh, here is exercise for you guys uh, the exercise in this exercise you will have to find the adverbs right there is a sentence let me read it for you the band on the stage is playing fantastically good songs the girl is singing extremely well and the audience is clapping along loudly the band is 
standing directly in front of the audience and they are playing one song immediately after the other they are trying hard to entertain the audience and there is hardly anybody in the audience who is not completely thrilled now pause the video and try to underline the adverbs i hope friends that you have solved uh, you have tried to find out the adverbs in the paragraph let me discuss the answers right the band on the stage is playing fantastically good songs good is adjective here but adding fantastically word describes it more that is fantastically is describing verb here and it is adverb right now the girl is singing extremely well extremely at what extent it is she is singing extremely and the audience is clapping along loudly the audience is clapping but how in which man, uh, how the audience is, is clapping at what extent they are loudly clapping therefore loudly is here our adverb the band is standing directly here directly is telling you where where they are standing so it is an adverb here in the front of the audience and they are playing one song immediately immediately is the adverb of time so they are when they are immediately singing playing song right after the other they are trying hard to entertain here hard is uh, adverb right they are trying but how they are trying hard to entertain the audience and there is hardly you would uh be surprised to know that here hard and hardly both are used as adverb right anybody in the audience who is not completely thrilled they are thrilled but at what extent how they are thrilled they are completely thrilled so these are the adverbs right now let me introduce some types of adverbs adverb of manner adverb of place adverb of time adverb of frequency adverb of degree so we are go, go, going to study about each of them first is adverbs of manner it describes the way in which an action is carried out right how or in what manner an action takes place for example he drove carefully he drove slowly he drove badly i speak beautifully that is these adverbs describes the way in which driving speaking has been carried out in which manner i am driving carefully slowly so these are adverbs second is adverbs of place it tells us where an action takes place also it describes position placement or direction example for example you may sit there when road wendy rode her bike towards the beach my car is placed behind your car these underlined words are adverbs right so it is the place it is the position behind towards there is the position now adverb of time it tells us when or something takes place he is parking the car now i was busy yesterday i will ride the wendy with wendy tomorrow this tomorrow yesterday now are the now let's talk about it verb of frequency it expresses how often an action takes place for example always never rarely usually right for example divya often rides her scooty it uh, i have never driven a car that is often and never expresses how often how many times or it is daily rarely usually the action is taking now adverb of degree it tells us the extent to which the task has been done for example uh just very almost extremely that is sambhu is extremely talented no doubt sambhu is talented but using the degree adverb of degree extremely it describes more beautifully that sambo is extremely talented i almost fell over he drove very fast now friend let me summarize what we have studied in this video it is clear that adverbs are describing words that tell us how where how when an action happens sometimes 
and i would like to say most of the times when you add ly to an adjective it becomes an adverb and you can use it right uh, we have studied five different types of adverbs that is adverb of manner like quickly kindly in which manner the work has been done adverb of degree at, at what extent the work uh, the work has been done extremely rather adverb of frequency that is how many times or how often the work the work has been done often sometimes adverb of time it denotes the time at which the action is performed now today now adverb of place where the action is going to happen right where the verb the work of verb will take place right so here and now here have a great day thank you